Hi, my name is Mike Mahan from the SMA America Solar Academy. In the video segment today, we're going to talk about great features of the groundbreaking TLUS inverter from SMA America and also give some installation tips. There are many exciting features of this inverter family, including the secure power supply, where you have the ability to have solar power available when the grid is down, as long as the inverter is capable of producing power. Now this inverter family is in the range from 3,000 to 5,000 watts, has two maximum power point tracking channels with up to two strings per channel, giving you a lot of flexibility since the length of string between channels can be different. The two tracking channels on this inverter and the wide maximum power point tracking voltage window allow for great design flexibility and allow you to accomplish system design with multiple orientations on a roof or challenging layout and also some shade mitigation when you include the OptiTrack Global Peak. Once you've used Sunny Design Web and seen how easy it is to integrate this inverter into your project, there are a few slight differences between the standard Sunny Boy installation and this installation that we think you should know about. The first tip we want to talk about today relates to the mounting bracket of the inverter. See the mounting bracket with our innovative new anti-theft feature. This lines up with the back of the inverter and you actually can lock the two together so that nobody can rip the inverter off of the mounting bracket once it's put on the wall. What I want to highlight, however, is the fact that you need to mate the mounting plate for the DC disconnect to the mounting plate for the inverter before you hang this on the wall. And that's done by using these three holes right here on the right side. This is the bracket for the DC disconnect. And the two plates mount together like so. Please note that one of the screws mounts from the front and two from the back. Now this is all outlined in the manual, but just be aware of this before you get started. So once you've screwed these two plates together, you're ready to hang this on the wall and mount the inverter. Once the brackets are mounted on the wall, you're ready to hang the inverter, which may be a one-man lift since it's a transformerless unit. Now we're ready to talk about the tips on wiring the unit. To access the wiring terminals of the inverter, we'll need to remove the black cover, which is secured by six screws. With the last screw loose, we're ready to remove the cover and get access to the wiring area. Now the unit is powered down, but it is wired up, and you can see the AC wiring is not routed through the DC disconnect as it is in the classic Sunny Boys. The last tip relates to the DC disconnect. When you want to open the DC disconnect, you do not need to remove the screw on the handle. The handle does need to be in the off position before the lid will come off, but simply turn it to the off position, loosen the screw on the bottom, and then you have access to the DC disconnect. Inside the DC disconnect, you can see where the PV strings land, and you also note you have channel A, channel A, channel B, channel B. And the wiring to the inverter lands on the three terminals at the top, which are labeled red, orange, and black, and correspond to the color of the wires. I hope you found these installation tips useful. If you want more information about this groundbreaking inverter, please check the Products tab on our homepage, sma-america.com. My name is Mike Mahan from the SMA America Solar Academy. See you again soon.